radiation, surgery, how do they affect the heart? Well, again, chemotherapy being the most important one, radiation therapy, particularly when it was received several decades ago, mm -hmm. current radiation, modern radiation, uh, tends to spare the heart as much as possible, and therefore it's not that bad. But radiation received 25, 30 years ago, right. mostly for the treatment of lymphomas, where radiation you know, tend to be, tended to be centered in the chest, um, and um, there was very little they could do in terms of protecting the heart in those days. Well, we are seeing patients now more and more uh, where uh, radiation accelerates coronary artery disease, for instance, and these patients are coming with very severe uh, coronary disease and heart attacks, and their treatment tends to be particularly difficult because of the intense um, scarring that the coronary arteries have. Then we also uh, have other vascular problems not related to the heart itself. For instance, many ca cancers themselves produced blood clotting in the veins of the legs, what we call a deep venous thrombosis or a DVT. And that can have, of course, the tremendous consequence of producing blood clots in the lungs, which could be definitely a cause of death in cancer patients. Absolutely, it's something that has to be watched. Uh, no question, very absolutely. Very specifically. We have, uh, and before we go to the next graphic, we have immunotherapy, targeted therapy, and hormone therapy also as possibilities that can affect the heart. Well, hormone therapy mostly doesn't affect the heart itself. You do have to watch for, again, deep venous thrombosis with hormonal, hormonal therapy. Mm -hmm. But even um, targeted therapy and immunotherapy can affect the heart in different ways. You know, some of these medications can affect the heart directly in terms of um, making it weak, again, producing cardiotoxicity. Some other medications can produce irregular heartbeats, for instance. And um, there are some of them which have to be, thankfully, they are very uncommon. Right. But you have to be um, very careful when you give some of these medications in terms of monitoring for irregular heartbeats uh, during the course of therapy.